Hey everybody! Welcome back. I'm trying to re-acquaint myself. I was going to say re antiquate myself, which doesn't make any sense at all. I'm trying to reacquaint myself with Super Auto Pets on the weekly here. Let me be a... Uh, how about a fragile planet? Uh, like Pluto, am I right? <laughs> it's still a planet to me, by the way. Buy my shirts. Anyway. Um, oh no, he's threadless posting. We win these! I can't believe it. In case you're wondering, um, you, maybe you didn't watch the last episode, why are you playing this instead of the test build? As of right now, the test build displays a message that says, the public test is currently closed. Thank you for playing. So I think they're, they're making some changes or possibly they're, they're getting ready to make some changes and then roll it out to the broader audience. I'll take a draw here. Which would be great. I and because you know what, we I feel like I've got something of a handle, not a an incredible handle, but like I got something of a handle on. I hate where we're standing here, but um, on uh, the the golden pack, so called pack three. But there's always more to learn. You have nine stats. Holy cow! Um, and on top of that. We don't know how those animals are really good. I mean, you could theory craft all you want, but we, we need to figure out how those animals actually interact with the other animals. Maybe there's some unexpected synergies, you know? Okay. Okay, interesting. I'm going to sell you, which probably makes our iguana garbage as well. I'm actually just going to... I'm going to straight up roll the iguana up at the front for now, just to get the two triggers on the ox. I think it's more valuable. And can I, can I tell you something? It's not a typical strategy, maybe, to... We, we, we sold low, let's put it that way. We didn't buy high, but we definitely sold low on those. Um, but my personal thinking is, first off, we're going to win this round anyway. Obviously, the cupcake played a big role there. But if we're going to pivot, we should pivot now rather than cling on a little longer and then pivot later like so give me my sale thank you and then i would honestly say sell this because i, I want to make two space for two units here and i think i want to set it up like this and we get a free reroll which is actually just beautiful and then i'll take another free reroll and I, I would dump an iguana probably not just for a um a, a dolphin because we got to think that we're getting two triggers on our ox, which is making our kangaroo a lot better, which is basically the crux of our whole squad, which is why, like, I mean, this worked out nicely for us, even though the squad kind of looks bad. It's also nice to keep a space open so that we can do something with the shrimp, but we can also just sell the shrimp. I think we should send the worm out here. It's something like at least semi-reliable. I'll be the first to tell you it's a little weird to have it at the back of the squad, but at least it gives us something to invest in. Maybe the, the clownfish would have been a little better off there. I wouldn't dispute that, but we made our decision. Doesn't mean it was the right one, but it's the one, it's the one we're rolling right now. And it, hey, if it's capable of beating a lobster build, then who says no? The bald feet? What a name. One of these. Salad me just for the stats. Even if it doesn't hit the worm, I'm okay with it. Giraffe me. I, I recognize we're playing pretty quick here, but the, the rounds are sort of playing themselves. They won't forever, though. And I do worry that, like, when this one starts to fall apart, it's a, it's a very quick... Uh, fall from grace. Oh, this hedgehog is actually gonna, the porcupine's actually gonna pop off a little bit. Okay, you got good stats. I can't deny you the quality of your stats. If I'm leveling with you, I think the worm was an experiment. I, it, it didn't work out. I know we still have the iguana. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I know we still got it. Um, for now, listen, no, take your level next time. This is how we play this. It's it's really weird getting used to the uh, 
Don't put honey on me. Oh no, it doesn't matter if you put honey on me. That's actually okay. Um, it's weird getting used to the, the old health system all over again. Their team is still better than mine. What a bummer. Because now I'm like, dude, we've only lost like a few rounds and we're on lethal. We're on lethal! Three, 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 three. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're probably not going to be using a, a poodle anytime soon. A skunk, though. But the thing, I, like, I think this squad, the iguana can go. But it has to be replaced with something that... Like, okay, this is probably better. And then I would love to just put honey on you, which I can't. But that's okay. Give, give me a permanent buff. I guess a, a deer would fit nicely up there as well, but I don't think a skunk is a terrible play. We traded one extra trigger on our ox for um, whatever the HP loss is going to be here. I mean, this is a disaster. We're lethal. I'm not just saying this because we're losing this one, but like... Count me as a, as a big believer in the new health system of Super Auto Pets that actually lets you see tier 6 animals on almost every round. Uh, give me a, a duck and a marmoset. We're, we're playing stats ball. Probably set it up like that. And I'll be a fragile... <laughs> I'll be a spotted musician. Like, there they are! They're there! Do I know you? No, but that's where you are. You're there. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. You know what, like, it's, it's kind of like that, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like Austin Powers. Man, which one of these disposable animals do you think has the best chance to deal well with honey? Great question. Dude, on the other... Well, I don't know why I would roll that, but... Well, because I had one gold. It got rid of the prompt. We got levels. And you know what I like about levels? It enables the most brain-dead strong run of all time, which is basically just level up on, like, turn five, get a bison, and then cruise. You're not always guaranteed uh, a ten-piece. But you're guaranteed a, a certain something-something. And I'm, I'm at, call, call me a believer in the, in the panda right now, especially as a way to get some HP on our pig. Holy cow. Holy, keep me alive, please. Thank you. At least we're two for one -ing, but it's not enough. It's not enough. But I'm not sweating too much just yet. A dodo as well. It's like a penguin with extra steps. It would... Be, I'm going to sell and sell, and I know it's a little crazy. My hope is I could maybe help a panda level up. Okay. Obviously, it's not going to happen this turn. I would say just buy a mosquito for, for sport right now. It's a 2 2 that does one damage for free. It's kind of like a, an, an organic cupcake. 9 7. Holy cow. Our pig is 3 for 1 -ing. This is the kind of luck that we needed. <laughs> if we wanted to stay, uh, we wanted to stay in the game here. Let's go. Okay. Well, the kangaroo is just good. And right now it can work that, like that. The toad is just good, and it can just fit. And then, how about an animal we've already seen before? I mean, honestly, I could easily... Oh, but that screws up our kangaroo. It screws up our kangaroo. I think maybe the play... Because right now, you're only giving one, two. Roll me. Okay, honestly, this changes everything. Now that we got a... Now that we got a... We're gonna like this. I think we buy the panda... And we do buff the panda, so it goes off first, thus giving way more stats to our pig, which makes our kangaroo worse. It got sniped anyway. One of the rare times I look uh, smarter than I am. Not because I'm that smart, but because usually I look very, very dumb. I sound smart on occasion. The look is a different story. Right? God is my witness. I think the way we play this is to sell the kangaroo. And I know we're selling, like, too much. And then I almost feel like you, you commit to the idea that possibly another snail will show up. And we, we took a real leap of faith on that one, but I think you can understand where I'm coming from. Stats are the, the be-all, end-all right now. 
Don't, 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 don't do this to me. Don't, don't skunk me. This is round four skunk. I didn't even know that was possible. Why is my toad so far ahead in the ecosystem? Oh, because they had a, a seahorse. That's not my fault, thankfully. Although if I'd known the seahorse was coming, I suppose I could have planned around it. I simply believe that as good as this looks right here, a level two eagle is like, is just better. I would love our panda to like level up by default so that we could still get the benefit out of that. But I think the level two eagle possibly spitting out a, a goaded level two tier six, that's something that not a lot of teams are gonna have an answer for this early, I think. Let me see, what are you spitting out? Something, something good. That's not great, but it had enough stats to get the job done, so I'm thankful. Okay, all right. Okay, I, I like it a lot. Are we really just gonna try to run like, I'm gonna go a little crazy on this one. I'm gonna unwind that panda. I'm gonna throw a, a turkey onto the team. We're gonna roll once, of course. I don't think that I forgot about that. Basically just to buff whatever comes out of the eagle, and we're hoping whatever comes out of the eagle is a spawner that also spawns stuff. Holy cow, what a shot. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's the greatest luck of all time, but also you got to have the cojones to make the play in the first place. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the luck that you've given me. Take some extra stats here. You should have probably taken a lemon. I don't think we need you to level up. Maybe, you know, honestly, maybe you just take a lemon. At 9 HP round 9, maybe a lemon lets you 1 for 1 instead of getting, you know, 0 for 1. It's a heck of a rhino there. It's a little spooky. That's very spooky. Or is it? Some of the most insane luck in video game history. I mean, spitting out a level 2 gorilla, you can take the macaw out of the game, but you can't take the... Well, let's work on our phrasing a little bit. Turtle makes some sense here as a replacement for the pig. Why don't you take this? I don't know. Maybe we're... The stats are not going to mean that much now that I think about it because we're getting close to the end of the, of the road here. So put us on six gold. I mean, I, I think we got to unwind it at some point. This is just a... I'm just buying it just to buy it. And honestly, why don't you go to the front? Just think, because I'm waiting for the day where the eagle spits out a spawner itself. That's why I'm not keeping it at the front right now. The heck was that? It was an aardvark? Oh, it was a taper. It spat out a unit we already had. It's working totally fine, but it's not the, <laughs> it's not the animal I'm looking for. Can we get something that spawns something, please? Wait, what about a deer? <laughs> it's obviously a deer spawns other things, man. Taper summons a level one copy of a friendly pet, except other tapers. Honestly, I think this is a spawner, and I think it's... I was going to say I think it's just silly enough to work, but I don't know that. In fact, if I had to guess, I would say that there's like a, a very realistic chance that six is all we get as far as wins go, because look at our stats. But it is, it's, it's certainly a unique build. Now, we, we're hoping to get an eagle spawned here. What are you gonna, is something to level two pug? This is a disaster. I, I've got to commend you on your Lynx-based gameplay. I'll take my draw though, that's a surprise. Why not, I suppose. Now you should have, I'm just trying to think, you should have a one-up. Summon a tier six pet and yourself when you, yeah, okay, you should have a one-up. You could have a one-up and we can move you back further. It would screw up the order of the squad completely, but whatever. And I, I just don't know if there's a place for a tiger to fit here. This run's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little zany. We should still get the, oh, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's not that great, but it's all right. We already got a good benefit out of it. And then what the heck? Oh, another eagle because of our one-up. And then it, it spawned a taper. 
Which spawned a toad. Imagine if that had spawned an eagle, though, dude. <laughs> we would have gone off. Holy cow. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can still hear them say, they'll never break the chain. Remember that. Can I get some more eagles, though? Because we should be at, like, a level 3 eagle with the pug backing it up by now. My turkey! Pug? Don't, don't give me a pug on this one. That's an insult. Eagle, though, into walrus? Into walrus? Into walrus? This is bad. We can't win this. It looks cool, though. Okay, so we're on lethal. Thank you. Eagle or pug? Eagle or pug? Son of a... <laughs> Listen, this is going to sound crazy. You never know if that might make all the difference. Okay, they got a, they're going to have a huge gorilla. Oh, uh, we can't win this. This is, this is non-doable. On, on maybe a, some lucky death touch. But there, aren't you going to coconut armor? No, because you're only a level one somehow. Holy cow, never mind. We might be okay because the snake is going crazy with it. We're, we are okay. I can't follow these rounds. There's just too much randomness, and I am living for it. Pug me. So how much you're giving three experience? One, two, three. We need one more eagle. I think a one-up on you makes sense. But then I, as crazy as this sounds yet again, we need to move our toad to the front, which I know looks really bad, but it gives us the extra spawn out of the taper and actually a better chance that it's going to... Oh... That's unfortunate. <laughs> if the two units hadn't died at the same time, we'd be feeling a little bit better about this. Yeah, we can't win. But you know what? We had fun while it lasted. No doubt about that. That's eight. We saw our eagle opportunity and we went for it. That's why I, I, I tend to enjoy a pug. You know what? It gives you a chance at a... Uh, it gives you a chance at an easier pivot to a higher tier. Let me be fatherly programmer. You know, like, um, it's, uh, it's, it, there's got to be a joke in here about, like, uh, a parent class or something like that. You know, I, I've been out of the game too long, okay? I'll take my win, though. I'll stack them up. I'll rack them up like the fabulous Thunderbirds. I'll have a fish sandwich with combination duck and lizard bread. It's a very strong looking team. Canadian dude 97. You might be wondering how old do you have to get until someone born nine years after you does not immediately make you think that they're a child? Uh, the answer, I'll let you know uh, when I get there. <laughs> 1997, you are 25 years old. In my head, you are Honestly, seven. And I know it's something because this comes up in chat now and then. I know you're going to be like, what the heck? That's not fair. But if you're born in 1997, how do you feel about people born in the year 2006? Well, well, that's different. Let me know if it is different when you're my age. Now get back to fifth grade, okay? I guess it's Christmas holidays. Enjoy Christmas, all right? Or whatever holiday you choose to celebrate. I'm not trying to take a side in the war on Christmas, okay? I just like a kangaroo, but I'm, I'm choosing to roll pug in this one instead. I'm rolling pug. Maybe, I, I don't know. It, it, maybe if you go to a, a retirement home, people who are in their 80s are talking about, you know, hey, you're, in, you're 71, I'm 80. What's it like? Uh, oh, how's, how was the Sadie Hawkins dance last year, Mabel? Or maybe not, is the alternative, I suppose. The friend ahead, plus two experience. You can still set it up, like, maybe like this. We can wait around. I'm just trying to figure out how this goes down. I think we give it to you. 
We can wait around to do it because then we'll get a tier four. And who knows what the tier four is? You know, it, it could be useless. It could be very meaningful. Either way, the stats are... They're winning the day right now. Whoa, what useful iguana! Never thought I'd see the day. This is a good looking squad so far. We've had a lot of shop luck. I, I'll acknowledge the shop luck. Okay, they wormed me. This time I'm saying... I'm saying no to the worm. Give me my level. We don't need to have uh, separated pugs anymore. I think we'll just throw a turtle on the squad simply because melon armor is going to be useful. And, and you know, there's a good point. We could just give the turtle the buff instead because at least we get the extra level out of it, which actually does make a difference. We'd lose the stats on the fish, but those stats would apply to the turtle instead. Yeah, this makes sense to me for now, at least. So Iguana can go, and I, I wouldn't mind running like a sniper build. There is something to this, huh? But obviously that's, we didn't take a sniper with our action there, so you already know that like there was going to be a but. Okay, now we got to rework this again, because you're bringing it back. You're now going to level up, which is going to give a 3-3 to everybody, and then also you're going to get a 2-2 on it yourself. So there's, there's a lot to like here. Not even sweating that in, in the slightest. Yo, the pug is kind of serving me winter vibes right now. Still take it. The duck, I, I think we're over, you know, the duck at this point. It's nice that it has meat, but we're, we're rolling for, for better options. I would even sell it and just get a toad out there, like, early instead. I didn't even think about the extra benefit we'd get out of it, but there is there is some. And I would love to get a fishy fish and then have the bison pop off. What the heck just happened? How, how did you get 20 moves before the game even started? Doesn't exactly seem street legal to me, but okay. Fair enough. Good Good sniper. We really need levels more than just salads, man. Sell me? I'm taking a risk on this one. Sell me? Buy me. Buy me. Why not? Buff me. And then, hold on, let me snag a look at you. One, two, three, three, four. I could sell you next turn and get, like, an absolutely absurd setup for a poodle. And then we could start stacking equipment on our units, because obviously, like, the fish is getting past its best before date. This is so close to a win. But it's not. And now we're on lethal. That's very spooky, man. I didn't realize how cutthroat old sap was until I got in, in the new sap. I mean, I'd still like you to level if I can, if I can get it. I, I see you. I see you. Don't act like I don't see you. I think our future is secure, it, but it starts hard and then it should get easier. So I'm, I am scared of this round. I am. And I, I think I should be. I think we lose. That's painful. That that will drive you crazy. On the old system, sorry, on the new system of sap health, I got more confidence in us getting to like eight or nine. On the new system, dude, it's you made a mistake on turn three. Sorry, brother. Enjoy being dead at turn six. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.